to put yourself in this kind of a third down. Barrett throws and it's intercepted again and that's going to be the ball game. Donovan Riley down the sideline and he's going to take it. Touchdown and the capper of the night. The man that replaced Kendall Fuller takes it 63 yards for a touchdown. Well, there was a miscommunication between J.T. Barrett and his intended receiver because he threw it. The receiver, Corey Smith, was still running down the field, and that was an easy interception for Riley. Two guys that have a lot of respect for each other. And Ohio State falls to 1-1. One and one. The Hokies are 2-0. and oh. Let's check in with Frank and Holly. Well, Coach, you did something tonight. No. Virginia Tech 7 and 0 this season. The first time they've had that mark since 1967. And here come the Hokies. Game no timeout. He's got to hit a couple big plays down the field. Virginia Tech trying to keep its national title hopes alive. There's a stop. Michael Vick wasting too much time right now. They're about 25 yards away from a makeable field goal try for Graham. Vick on the roll. He's across the line of scrimmage. Up the sideline. Very close to field goal range. Out of bounds. And here comes Shane Graham, the senior from Dublin, Virginia, with Frank Beamer. He said, Shane Graham has made every big kick we've ever asked him to make. Here's the biggest. To keep their national title hopes alive from 44 yards. It's long enough. It is right down the middle. agreed to is the training camp was too long <laughs> the extra week they are rare to go and so are we great to be back the offensive line for west virginia is soft in the middle at center and right guard this is his third year with the hokies and you see the footwork in the back and then the power he just runs over defenders we were told we're really going to get involved and really enforce sideline conduct here's jackson for a wide open cam phillips Got him! From a schematic standpoint, Bud Foster was ready for that naked throw, and Hill makes a great play. Cam Phillips, they're asking him to play. And Virginia Tech going quickly. It's Jackson right up the middle. Just Jackson. Will they catch him behind me, will you? Number 79. Time. Game is over. Hey, Jerry, don't worry about that third one. <laughs> he had to get out of there. Now Miami wants to talk about it. Several of these pass plays in this last possession. The first one took 11 seconds off the clock. 11 seconds have resulted in incompletion. They have not managed the clock very well, but you, you can say that to Ja'Cory Harris, but if he can't find anybody open, he can't find anybody open. Let me tell you what has become open, this crowd. That makes the task of Al Golden and Ja'Cory Harris that much more difficult. You lose a little bit of your composure and your focus and understanding of the down and the distance in the game. At this point now, they've got, they cannot let the ball die inbounds. Look at this. This is just spectacular. These people are losing their mind. This is beautiful. Evans felt the pressure, got away. Stutter step, he breaks free. Evans to the near sideline. Has a blocker in Phillips. Evans continues on down toward the goal line. And he is in. Touchdown, Jerron Evans. The 
pull it down. He's as good a runner as there is on the field. So he's looking downfield now. What can I do with it? Now he's going to get a couple really good blocks. One of them by Bucky Hodges. We've got just a piece of the defender. And then you talk about Will to get in the end zone now. Make people miss. Get me in the end zone. Gerard Evans. Cam Phillips comes in to try to get a piece. Doesn't really do anything. He's just making guys miss that are overrunning the play. And then he gets in the end zone. Under a minute and a half to go. No timeouts for Virginia Tech. Need to go another 84 yards to win the game. Taylor looking desperately now throws it has deep. Has a man open. Unbelievable. Oh, Danny Cole all the way out of bounds at the three. He did not get in. Like we said, 58 minutes. It doesn't matter. It comes down to right now. Watch the protection first. Good job, and then Tyrod Taylor makes the play, both with his arm and with his feet. Watch right here. He's going to create a little bit, buy some time, and then spots Cole down the right sideline, and then it's just a race. What a difficult half for Virginia Tech. A little something working now. Quarterback keeper. Touchdown! Virginia Tech showing blitz, but they don't come. Allen on the run, throws, ball is tipped and intercepted. Ball perfectly. Ellis, the SEC Scholar Athlete of the Year. Rodgers won't catch! Allen with a play fake, dumps it underneath, it's intercepted! Three times in 11 snaps. Evans for the end zone. Touchdown. Play he normally makes easily. McMillan again. Shakes the tackle. Touchdown. Intercepted. Now the ball comes. Better than, even though they were struggling running the ball in the second half, they scored zero points. And That'll do it. And in this season of parity, you keep a close eye on the scoreboard if you're a ranked team. It is a third down and a whistle and a flag on the snap. Up on this third down, third down and third 31. 31. That's a long way. That's a long way to go. Going to be carried to the quarterback keep up the middle. 40. Look at the break. Coming to midfield. Got the first down. Down to the 30, the 30, and a big first down carry by Tyron Taylor. Roll finally gets him. And if you ever wonder why Frank Beamer has been drawn back into the two quarterback controversy, you just got your answer. How do you make third and 31? And you just say, Tyron, you got the ball. Blocking. We should add that, but this is just athletic ability and presence. The ball is secured. Watch Brandon 28 accelerate. Gets a nice block on Tony. So now Hughes is putting from his own goal line. Miami should get excellent field position out of this kick. Coley's already made one big play tonight. Back pedals to the 33, slipped a little bit again, made the first man miss. He might have another big play. And he lost the ball. And I think Virginia Tech's got it. Larry Hope, I think, on top of the football for the Hokies. And a break there because Coley looked like he might be off to the races again. Coming into the game, pulling it yep. on kick returns, on snaps. Coley looks like he has it protected. But a nice hit right on the football, able to knock it out. A.J. Hughes, the punter, the punter with a form tackle. You yeah. love punters, and I'm that was pretty. I'm going to give him some love. I'm going to give him some love on that I was going to say, sugar to the punter from Todd. I that mean, never that, happens. That was head across the bow, wrap up, and take him to the ground. Without this year, 
Right now, Virginia Tech with 2.34 left, and a senior quarterback, Tyrod Taylor, about to get it back. A short kickoff to David Wilson. Wilson, better be careful. Great speed. Wilson's on his way. Hi. Here. Now this is a guy who was nicknamed by a school teacher wiggle worm because he couldn't sit still in his seat. You can see why. How about that explosiveness there, Jesse, to pick up a team? Well, he's able to find a crease up on the left side here. Catches the rock, starts in the center. And really, there's not that much wiggling. You just had to run in a straight line right by the kicker on his way to the end zone. And you know what I loved? Tyrod Taylor was the first guy in the end zone. Two minutes gone by, second period. Here's an end around to Roscoe Parrish. Hokies have this one red well. Parrish cuts it back inside and loses the ball. Taken right away from by D'Angelo Hall. He's sprinting down the sidelines. D'Angelo Hall into the end zone. Touchdown, Tech. It was an end around to Roscoe Parrish. And D'Angelo Hall took it right out of his hands. He said, give it to me, Roscoe. Give it to me. And down the sidelines, Hall went. Touchdown, Tech. Boy, they had that defended well, as you said, Bill, the end around, not fooled. Tech had three people out there, one of which was D'Angelo Hall. Eric Green was there, Jimmy Williams was there. It's a big pile up, a collision there. And then D'Angelo strips the ball, pops right up in the air, and then it's clean sail, and he takes it to the house. Gonna pull this football out. Number two. Nope, D'Angelo Hall got it. He pulled it out, picked it off, and ran it in for the touchdown. So this capacity house is up and going a little bit crazy right now. Seven and a um, Very hard to win a game when you get an interception on third down, you think you come off the field and, and uh, there's a supposed offsides, which I'll see it, I, you know, puzzled, um, puzzled, 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 which I'll see it, I, you know, I thought the coverage was real good. I thought there were some things that were one-sided out there tonight. Now, he put some balls out there where he is. They did a great job pushing off all night, and uh, give them credit for that. I guess, you know, it's just another excuse. You mentioned the penalties. How do you correct that in the second half? And, you know, they got to call both ways, too. I guess, you know, it's just another excuse. Last week against Miami, throw the ball to Ford, who got ripped to the ground. Isaiah Ford, he's got it right. And, you know, they got to call both ways, too. They keep taking the shots. I too. There's more jersey pull. That's been pass interference tonight. Yeah. Why is it not pass interference right there? It should be. It and, you know, they got to call both ways, too. Pat Narduzzi's having a meltdown. Well, and here's the irony. Yeah, that's just another excuse. Without the headset on, I think he might have broken it when he was so <laughs> upset with Which I'll see it. I, you know, um, it was a fade fest out there, and they did a great job pushing off all night, and uh, give them credit for that. Caught a touchdown, Isaiah Ford. Frank Beamer's Virginia Tech squad is always going to be ready for a challenge. The Hokies will definitely have the house tonight, and right now, they have the floor. Well, a good start. Not an easy opponent to begin for Bielham. A big hole. Trey Edmonds off to the races. They will not catch him. He pulls away and scores. 78 yards for the Hokies.
see, drive that defender all the way across the ball. Then you have number 14, Trey Edmonds, showing great speed. And it starts off with Logan Thomas, too. That was a read option. Logan did a good job of reading where the defense was, saw the hole open up, made the decision to let Edmonds take it. You get a big play, but it started off. Tonight, Virginia Tech and Florida State meet in front of a packed house in Uptown Charlotte. It is the Hokies and the Seminoles with a trip to the Orange Bowl on the line. Manuel up on her center this time. Play fake, looks to throw, lets it go, and it's batted in the air. Picked off. That's Correa Winslow down the sidelines into the end zone. First down, the handoff goes to Darren again. Races hard to the right, gets the five, bounces off a tackle, takes it into the end zone. The I formation, Boykin comes in motion, a play fake for Taylor, blitzes on, Tyrod scrambles left, lets it go to the end zone, it is caught by Boykin, touchdown tech, a spinning clear. Number five in white, fires it deep, Danny Cole wide open and over the shoulder grab on the 20, left sideline to the 10, and he will score. Wow, on the blitz, Tyrod in trouble, heaves it, right side, Wilson, open at the five, into the end zone, touchdown tech, it is Tyrod Taylor's night. Shotgun snap, Tyrod rolling right, stops. Now he's going to run back to the left, try to get to the corner. Cuts inside and waltzes in casually. Touchdown, Tech. They beat the Florida State Seminoles in the ACC championship game. Thanks to Taylor's heroics. This is about 40 yards and three inches. But it doesn't count. He doesn't even have to see it. He knows it's like hit that cut on the 18th green right in the middle. Sort of get calm up here and gather ourselves together because we have a little summarizing to do as we'll tell you the final score. Just out of the frame, they brought him down late. Right tackle didn't see him, didn't pick him up. Ludwig, it's a fake punt, and he pops over the middle, complete. And Terrell Edmonds has a first down. We thought there might be some gadget plays in there for the Hokies. They desperately needed a spark. A gadget. Ludwig, with, this isn't a throw. Watch this ball. Watch the technique. That spin. That's, it's just, that, what yeah. a catch. That was a great effort to be able to. He's, he's flying downfield right away. In fact, there are a few guys just taking off there. That's and right. now, boy, it's right just past the line of scrimmage. That play is dis it. The key is when he first touches, touches it. the ball. When he first touches it. And remember, it's not the lineman downfield that's reviewable. It's whether the pass crossed the line that's reviewable. Sure. Well, if it was behind the line, then. But, but it looked like, Dave, it looked like he may have touched that After ball. After review, the ball was first touched behind the line. Therefore, there's no foul. Ball replaced at the 42 yard line. First down. Here's Jones. Got East Lake in front of him. Tigers aren't rapid. Missing tackles. Here comes Jones still on his feet. He's got blockers. To the 20. 10. Inside the 5 for Kevin Jones. 33 yards after being wrapped up and missed a yard deep in the backfield. He had trying to get a block. Boy, as an old Redskins fan, this brings back horrible memories of Marcus Allen in the Super Bowl. But Marcus Allen took this from the distance. Kevin Jones getting help from the big fella. That's 322 pounds. Anthony Davis down there doing everything he can. But what athleticism by Kevin Jones. with 33 seconds to go from the 11 yard line Taylor rolling to his left he stops he looks back to the right side still looking Tyrod waiting Tyrod scrambling back at the 20 fires end zone and is caught for the touchdown by Roberts it's a miracle in Blacksburg Tyrod did it Mikey Tyrod did it they went the whole way in the final minute touchdown tech this
this. Is it possible they could take down this dramatic touchdown? Now that's a catch. That's a catch all the way. You can understand why they want to be sure, but it's absolutely certain. And give Roberts credit. He was a tailback in high school. They moved him to wide receiver to replenish their depleted receiving core. No doubt. Well, it's been a while since they've gotten one against an FBS team. Kyshawn Jarrett, this is a beauty of a kick. And it's taken at the five yard line with plenty of hang time. To the 20. He's got, He's got room. Kyshawn Jarrett down the sideline. What a block! And Jarrett's going to take it all the way. A 95 yard return. Well, it wasn't the block, but it was the punt return by Jarrett. He had a wall on that hokey sideline and watch the perfect block right there. Looked like it was on Shanahan. Got the pads in front and 95 yards later, or 94 yards later, it's a touchdown. Wilson from the two. 20 of 22 in passing. He's been red hot. On 235 with four timeouts. Good protection again. Build his own legend taking over for Tyrod Taylor. Swings it out in the flat. Wilson. Unless they brought more than that. Wilson. First down and more. Still on his feet. Do or die, they have to get to the 18-yard line to keep this drive and the game alive. Thomas, quarterback, keeper. Holy cow, touchdown. Virginia Tech's offensive line. Good Greg Nosel coming around 75, doing his job and opening the hole up in there. Penalty keeps that drive alive just like it did for Tech on their scoring drive here to start this second half. Lilly fakes the handoff. He's going end zone in the direction and oh, incomplete. He was looking for the youngster, Devontae Dedman, and well played there yeah. by Fuller, Kendall Fuller. And Fuller timed his jump perfectly because the receiver had gotten behind him just a little bit. Now, this is an all-out blitz. They bring eight. And so you've got one-on-one, man-to-man -on -one -man coverage on the outside. He's trying to hit Devontae Dedman in a perfectly timed jump for Kendall Fuller. You've seen a lot of Fullers come that, through here, that, Bruce. That's a, Do they have that, any more that, in the family? That's a heck of a play, and that, that family is full of talent. You know, he has a brother that's in the NFL right now. Oh, actually, awesome. Played here last year. Uh-huh. Kyle Fuller. Next to the quarterback, and this is McMillan on the handoff. Has one blocker in front of McMillan, pops it down the sideline, 30, 20, and he'll score. Touchdown! A little bit. And Brewer's not really a running style quarterback. Quickly uh, dumps it out to Ford, and there this is well blocked. And guess what? Track me on the angle. Can he get him? No, he can't. Now Rodgers. He wants a piece of this, and Rodgers will get in the end zone. That way you know where they have to go. So they go wildcat with Hodges and he scores. Tight, real tight play for Isaiah Ford. McMillan, again patient, and again, the Hokies are in the end zone. And Greg Stroman as the deep man. This is a high kick. Stroman seems disinterested in fair catches, and he's got some blockers, 50, 45, one man to beat. They're not going to catch him. Beamer ball. Handoff. McMillan. 
in there. Evans, they only rush three and they got him. Nicholas Daddy comes through. Virginia Tech is going to hang on and win. Oh, congratulations to Coach Beamer. Fitting way to end a story career. Win number 280. And what a way to bookend your bowl career. You bookend it with a win on both sides. 1993, victory over Indiana, and now a dramatic win over Tulsa. feel very fortunate to be able to spend 29 years here, a place I love, a place that means a lot to a lot of people in my family. You know, I just, uh, I've been a fortunate guy. Winning is the main thing. I don't think there's any substitute for it. Uh, I think it's been proven many, many times. Uh, I can tell you this, I'm going to give it every ounce of my energy that I uh, have. I never thought about Virginia Tech doing anything other than being successful. I mean, I just thought all the ingredients was there to be uh, a top program year in, year out, and that's the way I thought. I would suggest that of all the successful coaches that we've seen in college football over the last generation, none has been a more perfect fit than Frank Beamer was at Virginia Tech, culturally and socially, and for this university, institutionally. He was the perfect fit for Virginia Tech. We wanted to do something to pay tribute to Coach Beamer. You know, and as we just kind of spitballed ideas back and forth, we came up with, let's, let's alternate the number 25 with the special teams player. Coach Beamer earned such a great reputation as a special teams coach. Continuing here in the third quarter, Evans throws it to his right, and this is complete, and on the run is C.J. Carroll. C.J. Carroll looking for the end zone for Virginia Tech. The freshman has ever worn the jersey number, and on the opening kickoff for Virginia Tech, the true freshman is the guy that goes down and forces a massive turn for over 100 yards in that game, and now Edmonds with the magic. Everybody at Virginia Tech has said whoever gets that 25 jersey turns it up a notch is selected during the week. Stroman wore it two weeks ago and ran it back, a uh, punt back for a touchdown. Now Phillips comes up with that tackle at the four yard line. Stroman, 25, weaving his way up the middle of the field. Stroman continues. Strowman to the 20, got a block, and Strowman is in the end zone. Touchdown, Hokies. How appropriate, Tom, is it number 25, Frank Beamer's number, Beamer ball back is a special teams touchdown on a punt return and it's just a weaving effort by one of the fastest players wearing a hokey helmet found a beautiful crease some downfield blocking but really was about Strowman and the great speed to put it in the end zone Bruce Smith Virginia Tech defensive tackle look at the size of this guy if we had anything this big when I went to school, we held a senior prom in it.
One kick return for a touchdown. Virginia Tech will run it out from the end zone. Macho Harris, 25 blockers in front. Look out. Buckholz trying to slow him up, but he's taken down, and Macho Harris. Now let's add one more explosive play. 100 yards. <laughs> is Virginia Tech's calling card, and it's killing Clemson. And this is poor coverage because watch right here. Victor, is he has no blockers. He's returning right here, and there's nothing. And he's just going to reverse his field on his own and then pick up blockers. I mean, that's, that's poor coverage by Clemson. Not disciplined in their lanes, not getting down there fast enough. And Macho Harris just made a play. I mean, he was returning it right, saw a lane to the left, and took it himself. And it's 100 yards, not 102, because that's all they'll give you in college. What are you planning on doing tonight? You gonna celebrate? Celebrate for what? New Year's Eve, man. I don't give a damn about New Year's. <laughs> I gotta come down here to win a national championship. I can care less about the new millennium crap. Stand in the hotel, just like the whole team. We're standing in the hotel, nobody's going out. Next question. How you guys been handling the media coverage? F you guys. I don't I mean you get you guys aren't gonna win win for us. Who cares? I mean you guys could write your little story, you like the right right stuff. Right what I'm saying now, I don't care. You like the right stuff? How you doing, Randy? Hey, man, what's up? I don't, I don't care. You guys aren't going to win for us. You guys aren't going to play for us. That's a stupid question. Next question. You got your game face on earlier? You I always have my on? game face on. I don't, I don't particularly care about this city too much. I'm not too excited about being here right now. I'm not too excited about you guys got all these cameras in my face. Next question. You talk about Chris Winky. Um, I particularly don't care to talk about him right now. You want to write a story? Write about how I diss you guys. Get the hell out of my face. Interception. Each quarterback threw an interception, led to a score for another team. Taylor looks like he is going to heave one deep, and why not? He has a man behind the defense. Caught! But Jared Boykin is down short of the end zone, and time has run out. And they're going to check to see exactly if that took up nine seconds. Well, the Volunteers are heading to the dressing room. The Hokies are not. They want. Remember the play communicator and Paul Schmidt, the replay official. There's the ball. They said they called the timeout. Well, when is he two. down? Knee is down two, two seconds. seconds. What, what a phenomenal throw. He's got a great arm. The previous play was under review. The game clock will show two seconds. The ball will be on the four-yard line. Eight, where he never did kick. And he made it. So we could look back on the final seconds of this first half as the key to the game. But he looks like he's 100 percent. Here's the option. Thomas keeps it. Oh wow! <laughs> Let's go look at him right. And that's one of the reasons why a lot of people projected him to be a tight end. That should fire up this football team for Virginia Tech. And that was Miles Jack that could not make the tackle on Thomas. What a run. Oh, oh man. Miles Jack has to have a smile on his face. I mean, remember right now you might be saying, can I go back to running back? <laughs> Holy cow. What a terrific, terrific run for Logan Thomas. Second half might be a different story. So Michael Matchin at quarterback again for Kent State. Play action fake. Being chased wide open. Incomplete pass. Brandon Flowers, oh, delivered the blow. And Nadja Pruden. You know, this hit looked a lot more painful than it really was. He just got under his shoulder pads a little bit. It didn't jar the receiver too much. But I know at home, it looks like a big time hit. And Mr. Flowers, that's his job. But I'm going to question number 85, Mr. Bays. Why didn't he run the route down the field? He brought Flowers back into coverage.
Well, we said strange things happened on Thursday night. we got a post-Halloween mystery that has yet to be unraveled. And for more on that, we get down to the field and Atlanta's own Aaron Andrews. Yeah. Well, Virginia Tech dealing with a trick more than a treat, like you said, a day after Halloween. While well, Hokies equipment manager Lester Carlin walked into the team's locker room today at about 3 p.m., four starters jerseys were missing. Sean Glennon, Tyrod Taylor, Cam Chancellor, Brandon Flowers. He set the jerseys out last night around 7 today. They were gone. Now, Georgia Tech is claiming in order to get to the Hokies locker room, you have to go through three doors. One had a lock on it, one had a surveillance camera, and the other one had a guard there. There is no evidence that anyone walked out with those jerseys. There's nothing on the surveillance camera either, Chris. So the priority at hand, getting the players in jerseys. What they're wearing is Georgia Tech's old jerseys from three years ago, and it's pretty creative what they did. They scribbled out the yellow jackets with magic marker. Nike's even having them put a fake swoosh on there with magic marker. So. start again as you see 58 seconds remaining now the ball at the 32 of Virginia first down Ducky Miller wants to go long he has holds touchdown Well, look at here, Druckenmiller, he's going to look and he's going to pump right there. It's, you can stop. You see, you see Ellsworth step forward? That's what happened. He sucked up on the fake, and Holmes went right by, right by him. Take a look here at Druckenmiller. See the fake there? Throws the ball out over the top. Ellsworth, who has the deep half on that side of the field, sucked up on the fake, and it's a touchdown for the by the Hokies. Blacksburg, Virginia. Folks, we go to noisy stadiums all around the country. I'm not sure we have ever been in a scene where fans are any more pumped than they are right here tonight. Waiting right now for the Hokies to take the field. They are jumping, they are screaming, and it's been this way for the last 30 minutes. Frank Beamer waits in the tunnel. This is the date that they have pinpointed on the calendar for a very, very long time. going to get up. No, he's not. He's going to go back down. Mike Carlton is the man who hit him. That's the other thing. We're going to find the receivers going back to the huddle saying, hey, don't hang me out there. And they've had a couple of these the last quarterbacks are hanging the receivers yeah. out and they're getting uh, walloped. That's Pat Woodcock who played his high school football in Canada and came down to Michigan or Syracuse and where he was going to go to college. Noon's trying under pressure Hangs the ball up, and Ike Charlton just finishes off Pat Woodcock. And boy, he's exposed in an upper high, of the, the high rib cage just underneath that right shoulder blade is where he got the shoulder pads. Okay, Brown was a great defensive player who didn't go on to a terrific NFL career because of his size, didn't project as a defensive end at the next level. Very similar to Moore. And Corey's learned a lot from the former great Virginia Tech star Cornell Brown. He forced the turnover. He scoops. He scores. Does color too? Yes. 
for him, Laura. He just said best in the nation. I don't know if he's talking about his team or him because he is the, one of the best, if not the best, defensive lineman in you. college football. I'll give you a good one. Welcome to the Tarot Dome, baby. We're strong, baby. Welcome to the Tarot Dome, baby. We're strong. Let him do something. We're strong, baby. We're strong, baby. All day long. Keep pounding. in college football over the years keeping his team in this game and trying to give Tyrod Taylor and the offense a little time to just settle down and try to win the battle on the line of scrimmage. Busy right leg. And a good one. Field of that. The three by Roberts again. Looks for Crease on the left side. 35, 40, 45. Look out. Foot race. Battles him with a stiff arm. Touchdown on the kickoff. Roberts, 98 yards. We're tied pending the extra point. How about that stiff arm as he came down toward the red zone? And he puts the Hokies ahead for the first time tonight. Well, this is a great job of blocking by Virginia Tech. And then once Roberts gets to the outside, and this is what you're talking about, Marquise Johnson is walking him. He's got him. He's got him down. But Roberts showing some great strength. With Frank Beamer for nearly three decades. Running this defense, and Keel is nailed. The ball is out. Nigel Williams, he loses control. And it's scooped up by Greg Stroman. Inside the five, close to the pylon, and in for the touchdown. <laughs> on the score for the defense, and Keel hurt on a big hit to the midsection. And then his head hit the turf. Chris Moore trying to strip it loose for the final five yards, and that allowed Stroman to stay on his feet and get in. The Bowl Championship Series on ABC Sports as coverage of the Nokia Sugar Bowl continues. The pitch, Kendrick, first down, end zone ahead, touchdown, Hokies, 29 yards. Now, second down and eight. Vic dashing back, here he comes again, electrifying. First down at the 20-yard line, 15 more yards, and have you ever Never. seen anything like this? Option for Vicky keeps it, dashes upfield, 15-10. First and goal. Kendrick steps to the middle, touchdown! Hokies lead it! Hokies lead it on the six-yard run, trailing... So Taylor is out, at least for now. Logan Thomas, a redshirt freshman, who has thrown 24 passes this season, comes in on a third and 16. Got quite a bit of time against Wake Forest in a blowout earlier this season. He even caught a touchdown pass in that game, but really has not seen any extended action at the quarterback position. On a third and 16. He has time over the middle, has a man open, and he finds Danny Cole, and then Cole takes a hit and loses his helmet, but holds on to the football. How about Logan Thomas off the bench with hardly any warm-up time? I mean, it wasn't like Tyrod was down. He was getting to throw on the sideline, steps right into the game, delivers a bullet down the middle of the field. Really impressed with that throw. Great protection here, something Tyrod hadn't got to this point. But Danny Cole just splitting the middle of that defense. Von Telemach coming up later with a big hit. It actually took off. And hello, bang back. Couldn't find a hole. He ran into Cam Chancellor. 
an interceptor picked off by Cam Chancellor. It's caught by Paul. He got flattened at the 34. Finally gets the pass away. He throws it in double coverage. This ball's going to be picked off. Get Bimmer to the deck. Get the number of that locomotive. It's Chancellor. Woo! It's in a loose football. It's picked up by Tech. Pokey's come away with it. Down the right sideline. And they're going to have a first down and goal. Quarterback firing on the run. Paul has it and gets slaughtered by Chancellor at the 35. Sevens again. Running left, first down. Up near mid. Get involved tonight. This is Evans. Evans breaks free. Darren Evans barreling in. Usually they don't mind that because the opponents have more trouble than they do, but it's nice to have beautiful weather and bouncing it. Here's Darren Evans. Evans to midfield. Hookie's now backed up, and they'll just hand it to Evans on first down. They'll stiff arm Darren Evans into the secondary and tight roping down the sidelines. Kill some clock here. Evans. Boy, what a. The workhorse again. Oh! oh, oh. is what buys you into the hearts of your teammates. <laughs> Did you hear that? I don't know. They're going to have to win an ugly defensive game, I think. Evans. Just adding to his total, Darren Evans, and inside the 20. This has become a monster game. Pittsburgh, Virginia, the Coastal Division champions coming out with Sam Rogers for the final time here at Lane Stadium. He wears Frank Beamer's retired number today. These seniors seeing this crowd for the last time as he meets his family. Probably before, and they flipped him, and Thornhill's over there now. Sam Rogers in a tailback, hunting the goal line. Rogers extends for the score. If they're in rhythm. Rogers gets to the outside. Sam Rogers, the senior. Touchdown in and out just simply having it work for Virginia today. Evans over the top, Rogers down the middle of the field, Sam Rogers inside the 30-yard line. Very, very difficult at best. Sam Rogers, career day continues inside the 25. Big plus for that ball. Well, they're going to try to run one play, and it better be a quick one as Grove throws. Yeah, it intercepted. Picked off by Virginia Tech. Antonio Banks takes it all the way. Virginia Tech wins nine in a row to close out a phenomenal season, and they do it in amazing fashion. They come back with 16 points in the final quarter to win.
going away on the final play of the game. Well, Mike Rose doing what he's supposed to do here, trying to throw the ball outside to stop the clock and get a chance for the field goal. And Banks steps up. He knows it's going to be a short pass, picks it off, takes it the distance. Nice play. Good coaching by Virginia Tech secondary coach, getting him up there ready for the short play on the outside. Tiki Barber tried to come in and make the tackle, but Banks shrugged him off and went 65 yards. Pike rolls, lost it down the sideline for Goodman. Jump ball, and was it intercepted? It is an interception. Pike escapes trouble. Intercepted in the end zone by Virgil. Second down and 10. That's play action. And Pike down the middle of the field. And it is intercepted again. It's Pike. Being chased, and was it off? It is an... Pike on first down with under two and a half to play. Throws his fourth interception of the night, and this one's Cody Grimm. And the celebration is on. A championship trophy tonight from the FedEx Orange Bowl in store for Frank Beamer and the Virginia Tech Hokies. Let's go downstairs to Chris Myers. We all know you don't uh, replace a legend in coaching. You hope to build uh, on what, what he's already done. For the first time since the Reagan administration, a new head Hokie would patrol the sideline. All right, man, we start off with red zone punt to get this thing rolling, baby, to get our ass ready to go 1-0 oh this yeah. week. I'm getting a little tired about hearing about other people. Okay, I'm getting a little tired of hearing about how good everybody else is. I'm getting a little tired of hearing about other programs. And I'm ready to start hearing about ours. Okay, about the work that we've put in. About the control that we have over the game on a play-by-play -play basis. By the discipline and the strain and the toughness and the love and the emotion that we have for each other to go win one ball game. It's time to go set things straight, man. Over the next three or four hours, you're going to make everything right with the world and take care of our game, okay? To play Virginia Tech football longer and harder than anybody else in America. Get a break with us. You know, outside, the Crescent City is ready to light up. Virginia Tech and the Texas Longhorns coming up next. At the 41-yard line. Here comes Brian Still. Brian Still is going to take this one to the house. A full house backfield. Touchdown Hokies. A personal defender. And he's coming on the blitz on this play, but Brown gets it away, and he's picked off. Texas coming on a blitz. Drucken Miller has Still wide open. Touchdown Hokies. Take a look at Bud Foster, one of the co-defensive coordinators and try to get it into overtime. Out of the shotgun, third and ten, pressure. Brown gets it off, and he's picked off by Torian Gray. 26 total yards, their lowest output of the season. And that's the play that Frank <laughs> Beamer didn't call today. Yeah, that, that time Elder wasn't right next to him, and they gave him the ball. Rodgers is going to throw! Touchdown! Yeah, he can do it all. The fullback, Stephen Peoples. Remember the game against Ohio State? I think Rodgers did it that night, and he throws a touchdown pass here tonight. Yeah, Stephen Peoples did a really good job acting. He's working outside, making it look like he's going to block somebody, and he's able to release. Look at the left side of the screen. See Peoples, he's got his hands out like he's getting ready to block the corner. Runs right by him. A nice catch. What was a defensive war early has turned into a bit of an offensive explosion on both sides. Virginia Tech with a trick creation as they lead right now 30 to 16. And our entire ABC crew. Great job, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving weekend.
for Rob Stone, Chris from Blacksburg right after this timeout. Virginia Tech, 17-0 over Virginia. The Hokies will play Boston College a week from today after they win at Virginia 33-21. Virginia Tech advances to the ACC Championship. Again, our final score, Virginia Tech 42, Virginia 13. To Charlotte, get to that football game. I know I'm going. I'm going to be there. <laughs> I know we're all going. He had a big day, as did running back David Wilson, who went for 153 yards and a couple of scores. Goal from Cody Drinnell, and the Hokies will be going bowling. It's in a 16 to 6 battle. Tennessee. Everybody goes where everybody knows anything goes on a Friday night. Season. That's it from Virginia. Now we send it to Soldier Field in Chicago, Northwestern, and Illinois. 52 10, your final score. The steady rain that has been falling all day here in Blacksburg has not diminished the spirits of the tailgaters getting ready for Miami and Virginia Tech. And I would have held a lot better than he did. First and goal from the two. Ryan Williams, touchdown, Virginia Tech. Seven to nothing, under five minutes to go, first quarter. Taylor has a man open down the middle. Caught! Jared Boykin. In the slot. Now Bosher has it blocked. Cam Chancellor blocked it. And it's taken into the end zone. Here's Ryan Williams on first down. Breaks free. Boy, the tackling awful for Miami in Miami when they beat Virginia Tech 16 to 14. Oh. And that is intercepted. Rashad Carmichael. Man who irons. Well, this crowd has responded. They came out. A punt return. And up that tonight. Line drive kick. That's returnable. From the 18, trying to get to the wall. Royal. Getting a block and Royal, who said he wanted a touchdown to say happy birthday to his mother, goes 82 yards for the score, and Justin Harper gave him the clearing block. Clemson. Well, again, you're so concerned about protecting your punter. Protect your punter. Now you got to cover the kick. You got to stay in your lanes. You got to break down and make a play. Watch this. One guy you got to make miss. Right there it is. You make the first guy miss, which Eddie Royal does. Then he's going to pick up blocks on the way to the end zone. And the last block is going to be Justin Harper, who blocks the punter Mainers. He just ties him up, keeps him away from the return man. And Eddie Royal with a big time return. Versus number four, Virginia Tech. Sideline. You see those linebackers come up tight, quick pass, and he got it away. And the ball is covered and picked off in the air. Second down and seven. Flea flicker. Back to Vic. Still looking for somebody to go to and throws it complete. Noons. As this was. Noons throws back across the field and it's picked off. But they need they need some offense. Big head of steam has five, has ten, and he is off and running. Stiff caught. Jacked it, and he is going to be tackled. This is it. And they're going to run a little reverse right here. Andre Davis gets a nice block, and he'll. Another one going to be for the win against his son Tommy and his Clemson Tigers. Stick it, stick it, stick it. Back 144 for the Hokies, and we'll review those plus the individual defensive stars in the first day. Here's the kick return 30, 35, 40. Wilson up the sideline. Can he go the distance? Yes. At the 10, at the 5, it is touchdown Hokies. What a way to open the second half. 92 yards on the kick return by David Wilson. And all of a sudden, a 10-point lead with the extra point attempt can dissolve to 3. 
Well, this is more like it for Hokie fans. But watch the kicker, number 36, Chakowsky. He actually cuts off the trail man, Gary Grant, who looked like he was going to make the tackle. But Chakowsky went over there to try to make it and cut off his own guy. And I think that's how Wilson got the final step to get. Possession of the second half. Taylor hands it off to Williams off the left hand side. Look at the power of the young man. Williams pulling them all the way to the end zone. And he'll be marked down at the one as he dragged Earl Wolf a good five yards. The equipment folks may have to give him a new jersey. Well, he doesn't care if he has a jersey or not. He's going to run with it. And this is what I like about it right here again. You see the hole open up. And look at this. Talk about a workhorse back. I don't care if you're holding me back. I'm still going to run through it. Look at this. Look how far he drags her Oh, along. my goodness. And they give him the touchdown. Looked at him. And what a day. It's a senior day, but it's a redshirt freshman who's doing all the damage. Freshman Ryan Williams making like Santa Claus. Look at this. Pulling the sleigh. Oh, man. Look at this. I, you know, the leg drive, the power, and then getting in for six. Now, his knee might have gone down before he got in. That, that official on the side did signal. Favorites, of course, Georgia Tech already has the win over North Carolina. There's Wilson. Wilson looking for a seam. Still on his feet. And I'm not sure that's a good thing right now. Continuing to lose ground, and he's got a wave of blockers out there. Wilson out to the 35. What a run. Corky Brown almost had him down, but he got out of his grasp. Frank Beamer can't get any more gray hair. He's all the way white, so I'm not sure. But let's give a little bit of credit to Darius Robinson, the cornerback, right here at the very end. Even though he gets cut down, does a great job keeping his back. Con los terroristas. Harlem Shake. It is a tough place for visitors to get to. It is a very tough place for visitors to win. The crowd is loud, rowdy, a little rude perhaps on the road team. When they play here, especially at night, they play at a different level. I don't know what a Hokie is, but God is one of them. God bless Virginia Tech. Hokie, Hokie, Hokie high. the Terror Dome and this hostile crowd will be the difference. The Hokies will win a close. A fantastic job getting a win. Okay, now. Mm. Yeah. 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 Yeah.